Hi guys, welcome to Merzenden. My name is Valerie. Thank you so much for watching. So today I'm going to be showing you guys the Who Did It Lights Lacquer collection. I am so excited. Fall is my favorite season, even though I'm from Miami and we don't really have seasons. But if we did, for sure, fall will be my favorite one. I'm going to be doing nail comparisons and swatches of the nail polishes. Just in case you guys are interested in buying like single polishes, I just want to help you guys out and pick the best shade for you. Before I begin this video though, I want to please ask you guys to subscribe, give this a like, and comment. I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway when I reach 1,000 subscribers and I know I'm a long way from that, but the sooner the better. It's going to be multiple winners, so definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell because once I hit the 1k, I will be doing a video so you guys can know exactly how to enter. Alright, so if you guys want to see the nail polish collection, just keep watching. Okay, so I am not in my usual uh, environment, so I feel super weird filming here. I can't wait to have my beauty room one day. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the packaging. This is the regular bundle if you get it without the PR box. And it's just, you know, the typical nail polish, but this time it's green. And I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a blood stain. Okay, so when you open the box, it gives you you know those little cards with kathleen on it and in the back it just shows you all the colors with the names and everything and also check this out you guys can get 10 percent off your next purchase and you can use ransom as the code so definitely don't forget to use that so when you open the box i love that it just says the same thing who did it and in that beautiful green color look how beautiful this is i'm sure you guys have seen it on their instagram but if you haven't this is what the collection looks like absolutely beautiful i am obsessed obsessed with all the colors okay so let's begin i think i'm just gonna go in order because i don't want to like pick favorites not yet because i will tell you guys which one is my favorite to least favorite at the end of this video so stay tuned okay so the first one in the bundle it's called a mysterious affair honestly okay i am wearing the lipstick because i saw how similar it is to this it's so it's like the exact same color so i'm like why not just use it and i love this color anyways Okay, so a mysterious affair is described as a burnt brick red, which I couldn't describe it any better. These colors are one of my favorite colors ever. Like burnt oranges, burnt reds, brick colors. I am obsessed with it. So when I saw this color, I'm like, yes, I've been saying I need something like this from Light Slacker. So I'm so happy that she came out with this. I know it's super random, but I compared it next to Foley's and Nonsense. I know that the finish is obviously has nothing to do with it. I felt like it's a little bit darker than a mysterious affair so it kind of is similar to me and then i compared it to lucy which is a beautiful red and then i compared it to which we call a rose i just felt like the vibe is kind of there it's just like a pink version of this shade if that makes any sense at all okay so the next color that i'm gonna show you guys the butler which is such a cute and funny name so the butler is described as an antique leather brown with orange undertones. I love this color so, so much. Like a mysterious affair. It is super thick and creamy. So this is definitely a two coater. And I compared this one with Emma. I just thought like they had a similar vibe. I don't know. Super weird. And then we'll always have Paris. I know it's such a random comparison. But honestly, this is one of the hardest comparisons I had to make. Because there's nothing like this in Light Slacker. So I had to pick literally the most closest kind of-ish vibe that it is to it. And then I compared it to Olivia. Because Olivia is like a brown but with like warm undertones. I, I feel like I did a good job with this comparison. I know they have nothing to do with the butler but it's it's the best that i could come up with with what i have right now okay so the next color i have is oh. I swear I love, love gray nail polishes. So when I saw that they announced Cold Case, I was so freaking happy. I remember in a previous video, I said that I wanted more gray and she came through. Okay, so Cold Case is described as a gray with soft blue undertones. What I'm kind of worried about is my nail comparison because I feel like some of you are going to be thrown off. So I compared this one firstly to Smoky Quartz. Because technically, that is the only other gray color in Light Slacker. And then I did Moon River. Because in person, they look nothing alike. Obviously, they have a similarity. But in the end, I, I just didn't think they were super similar. And then I compared it to Misfit Toys. Because Misfit Toys has like a very tiny, tiny blue undertone. So I figured it would help you guys decide if you want to get Cold Case or not. Okay, so the next one I'm going to show you guys is... This has grown on me. It is absolutely 
absolutely beautiful i already knew i liked it when i saw it on their instagram but once i got it in person i just like i was completely in love with this shade and midnight train is described as a burgundy wine which is literally the perfect description of it super simple straight to the point this one was so 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 desperately missing from her collection and i'm super glad she exists now so i did compare her first to joan because when i swatched joan next to midnight train i thought they were literally the exact same color except joan obviously is a shimmer so that's why i paired them together and if you can see in the picture they're very very similar and then i did ruby because ruby is like the other one that was like a super dark wine red kind of color so obviously i had to compare it to midnight train and then lastly i did mia because they have like that rich you know that richness to them so i just wanted to add it just in case you guys have mia and it's just it's such a beautiful color i feel like this one's gonna be one of the most popular ones because who doesn't love those like cranberry burgundy wine shades it's beautiful okay so if you have been to my channel before you know how much i love greens so when i saw this one i almost freaking fainted look how beautiful this green is honestly you might think it looks like emerald but watch you'll see in the comparisons how different they really are so this one is called for the thrill so for the thrill is described as a british racing green which to be honest i don't know what the heck that's really supposed to mean <laughs> to me it's like a deep forest green type of vibe but i guess you can say a british racing green i don't know i obviously they're the professionals they know how to describe their shades in the picture it kind of looks like emerald but to be honest when you see the comparisons you're gonna see how much bluer emerald is and emerald is like on my top five favorite shades ever from light slackers i honestly see for the thrill her like sexy brother type of thing you know what i mean because it's more i don't know it's just it just seems more rich and like a true true green dark green color and after that i compared it to hoping to be kissed which is literally the perfect dark green shimmer shade this one is very similar to it except obviously this one is the glittery version of it so just if you want to add some shimmer you can get hoping to be kissed and then i compared it to hefa because hefa is like a like a sagey green but it's very much on the green side because i compared it to cold turkey and cold turkey is so much more blue so i think hefa was the perfect next comparison for for the thrill and i definitely definitely recommend this color last but not least the final shade and the name of the collection this is adeline and that name is so freaking beautiful i am really happy this one's named adeline because it seems like such a delicate you know like persona to it so adeline is described as a soft translucent pink with neutral undertones to be completely honest when i saw this on their instagram i was not crazy about this color because i don't really ever use super thin colors like this especially like neutral colors maybe if it was like a, a super thin like purple or something i would be going crazy for it but since it's such a soft almost completely translucent color i already knew i wasn't gonna gravitate towards it but then i put it on to do the comparisons and it's such a beautiful everyday wedding work if you can't have crazy nail polish colors it is the perfect color so i definitely see this being one of the most popular ones and i did layer this up a lot because i wanted to compare this to other colors and i couldn't do that with just one or two coats i needed i think i did four to five coats if i'm not mistaken that's when i can truly see the color like the real real color this comparison is a little weird but the first one that i compared it to was one of your french girls and i know every single person is going to be comparing this to marie because marie is the the next closest thing to this because it's also like a translucent color when i swatched it I compared it to one of your French girls and I thought they were very, very similar in a weird way. Like obviously one of your French girls is more of a creme finish even though it's not completely creme. I don't know. I just thought it looked more similar to one of your French girls than Marie because if you see the comparison, Marie is so much more warm pinky than Adeline. So I think, oh my God, I just realized they're both the names of the collection. That is so cute and they're, and they're similar. Ah, that's so cute. Okay, honestly, Adeline is absolutely beautiful but if you like how it looks in the comparison definitely go for like four to five coats and then lastly i compared it to desert rose because i thought it was very similar also and desert rose is a very like skin color kind of neutral light color i saw it and i and i thought they looked similar so there you go so this ranking is literally breaking my heart 
because I feel like more than the other collections that she's come out with, I feel like this one as a whole, I love every single shade. Just know that I love all of them, okay? So the first one that I'm gonna go with is A Mysterious Affair. That color is absolutely beautiful. I have it on my finger right now. It's just like that perfect burnt brick red color. So that's gonna be my number one. Obviously, my number two is gonna be For the Thrill. That green is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna be rocking it all fall. So thank you, Kathleen for bringing us another green. And my third option is gonna be Cold Case. I know a lot of people are gonna be hating on Cold Case, but I'm absolutely obsessed with it. What I plan to do is to, you know, use Cold Case and then add a matte finish. I think it looks so beautiful with a matte finish to it. So yeah, Cold Case is my number three. My number four is gonna have to be the Butler. Beautiful shade, the leathery orange brownness. And my number five is gonna be Midnight Train. And that makes me super sad because that color is so classy and beautiful. And then the last one is obviously Adeline. That was a no-brainer. Like from the beginning, I knew that color was not gonna be my favorite because of how thin and just the color is so, like a soft color. And I appreciate more vibrant colors. So yeah, that is my ranking. Please let me know which one yours is. I'm so curious to know what your favorite to least favorite are i always love seeing what you guys say and definitely let me know what your ranking is all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to follow me on instagram i always post nail comparisons there so by the time this video is up the nail comparison picture is going to be up for all six colors so definitely check me out there don't forget to subscribe you already know i'm doing a giveaway at 1k so please please subscribe to my channel i hope you guys have an amazing day have a beautiful weekend and i will catch you on the next one